what connects the Taj Mahal, the Delhi High Court, Mukesh Ambani's house, the Hyderabad International Airport and the entire Tiruchendurai village in Tamil Nadu? The answer is the Vakf Board. The Vakf Board in the respective states claim ownership of either these buildings or the land that they are built on. The Vakf is the third largest landowner in India after the Defence and Railway Ministries. The Vakf Board lays claim to 3,54,913 estates and 8,66,000 35 properties comprising 8 lakh 2000 acres of Indian land. Uttar Pradesh has the highest share with 2 lakh 13,833 Sunni Vakf Board properties and 15,386 Shia Vakf Board properties. Maharashtra alone has 92,000 acres of land as Vakf property. In fact, 77% of Delhi is on Vakf land, including the recently renovated Central Vista and the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. In 2014, the outgoing Congress led the UPA government gifted 123 prime properties in central Delhi to the Vakf Board and withdrew government claims on them. These lands had been given to the Indian government by the British at the time of independence and was owned by the government for 70 years until the UPA government gave them away to the Vakf Board. So what is Vakf and why is this controversial? Let's take a look. Vakf essentially means any donated property that belongs to Allah in perpetuity. These properties are donated by a person from the minority religion for any purpose recognized by their personal law as pious, religious or charitable. Once a property gets donated as waqf, it cannot be gifted, inherited or sold. Once waqf, always waqf, as the website of the waqf management system of India says. Today there exists a waqf board in every state which goes on to stake its claim on different lands. So on what basis does the waqf board stake its claim? According to section 40 of the waqf act 1995 passed by the then congress government, a property is is Vakf property if the state Vakf board has reason to believe it to be Vakf property. To put it simply, if tomorrow the Vakf board believes that your house is a Vakf property, then they can claim ownership on it. Section 54 of the Vakf Act gives the Vakf board the power to declare you as the encroacher. The decision of the Vakf board, which can comprise of only those from the minority community, will be final and binding. And you cannot go to the court regarding proof of your land, you will have to go to the Vakf tribunal. The Vakf board essentially acts as a parallel government in India and the provisions of the Vakf Act passed by the then Congress government goes against the principles of natural justice and the Indian constitution. It is keeping this in mind that the Modi government is bringing in amendments to the Vakf Act. With over 40 amendments, the bill has proposed to revoke several clauses in the existing Vakf Act and diminish the arbitrary authority of the Vakf boards. The Vakf boards will not be able to claim any property as Vakf without mandatory verification. Other far-reaching changes include giving the government more say in the Vakf board, ensuring the representation of women and non-Muslims in the Vakf boards, and giving district collectors the power to resolve resolve disputes between the Vakf board and the government. By seeking to curtail the powers of the Vakf board, the Modi government is pushing for a much needed reform to bring in more transparency and accountability in the functioning of the Vakf boards.